time to fully unlock my psyche and let loose, let 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 loose, 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 let loose the demons what's it? What the fuck? Time to unlock my psyche and let loose the demons within. Time to unlock my psyche and let the let, let loose the demons within. Great job, Brendan. A plus. New streamer voice unlocked. Oh. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Me when I've bitten my tongue and I can't do shit. Brendan, please use your real voice. Don't have to force the deep voice. I speak with my real voice on stream. I like what? It's it's like this is how I talk normally. I'm a normal guy. I, 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 I like, I, 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 f I, 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 all right, everybody, back to the regular voice, and ra back to the regular stream. So glad you could be here. Uh, no longer do I have to hide behind a shell, behind a facade. Uh, I finally, I let loose the dogs of war, and I'm really here in the real for the first time. I sound like the Al Gore South Park voice, but like worse. I sound like somebody trying to do like a bad impression. Of like the Al Gore South Park voice. I can't get wait. I can't wait to get started on a new episode of Fallout Three, and I hope you are all really, really happy and excited to be here for it. I uh, cannot wait to meet Liam Neeson, and he's going to say so many amazing things. Uh, he's going to say things like "I am your father," just like Star Wars, Darth Vader. Like I don't. I, I'm not gonna stop. That voice is gonna be permeating my life for the next three weeks, and I fuck. I'm mad about it. I'm actually really upset. The new voice, core voice unlocked. I hate it. Let's get into a slippery situation here, though. Let's jump right into Fallout 3. Hate this. I hate this. God, I hate it. I hate it. Thank you, Nuclear yeah. Kindness, for the for the yeah. tier one sub. I appreciate that. So kind yeah. of you. So 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 wonderful of you. This reminds me of the story from my childhood. I remember when I was just a young boy, walking into a candy store, and I decided today's the day I'm going to get the big lollipop. And the clerk behind the counter said I only had three dollars, and the big lollipop was four dollars. I didn't have four dollars, I had three dollars. He would not barter anything, so I had to leave. Very upset about this situation. I don't- like, I hate this. I hate this voice. Why did you have to say real voice unlocked? Oh, fu oh bother! Imagine Eeyore in the wasteland. Could he handle it? Could he survive? Could he- could Eeyore survive in the wastes? This was the personality on- <laughs> This was the personality I unlocked after watching the Batman, yeah? <laughs> Maybe he'd be happy without this societal pressure to be happy. Listen, Eeyore just lives his best life, all right? He- you know, I- I- like, Eeyore- uh, Here's the thing. As sad and as fucked up and crazy as Eeyore gets, one thing that kept me going as a kid was, that donkey is sad, yet he persists. Like, props to Eeyore, because yeah, that donkey is sad, but guess what? He persists. Shit keeps me going. I, I, if I need to look at anybody, if I need to look at any cartoon character for big inspiration, at like uh, perseverance, that donkey is sad, but he still persists. Do a poo impression? Oh bother! I can't do like a poo. I can't do like a good poo. Oh. I can't wait to eat some of this yummy, scrumptious honey. It sounded like a Germa voice. I uh, fucking do Piglet. I don't know, Poo. I can't remember Piglet's voice. It's so, it's so sad. I can't do a good Poo. Yeah, quote me on that. Quote retweet me on that. Put that, put that on slams.net. Big self own. I said I can't do a good Poo. I can only do like, out of the, out of the one he's Poo, the only, the only thing I like doing is like the Tigger laugh. <laughs> Thinking about One Piece laughs brings me joy. Did you like the Batman? I liked it, but I couldn't stop thinking about the TikTok video. I, I like the Batman, but I couldn't stop thinking about the TikTok video where it's just something in my ass. Like I couldn't, I couldn't stop thinking about that the whole movie. Every single fucking second, I couldn't stop thinking about the TikTok sound. Where, they do, where it's just, something's in my ass. Oh. Context? There's a Nirvana song. Something's in the way. Oh. New personality unlocked, sorry. <laughs> yeah, when I go to the corner store, if I see an old lady and she's being bullied by the clerk, <laughs> I'm gonna kill that guy. I took away the wrong thing from Batman, just like I was supposed to. 
I should kill and murder people. That's what the Batman wants me to do. Batman wants me to kill and murder people. He said so. He said, remember, it's me, Batman. Remember to kill and murder people. I remember in the Batman where Batman took his hood off and he said to the audience directly in the theater that I was definitely in, he said, remember to spade and neuter your pets. And then he put his cowl back on and started beating the shit out of a Riddler goon. Big boy. Oh, is it big boy season? Oh, am I going to get me one of those? Oh, I can't wait. Oh, it is definitely big boy season, uh, and you're all invited. It's his season. He's the big boy. Real dog fired on stream. I don't know why I said, why'd I say that? What did I mean by that? What do I mean by real dog fired on stream? When are they going to make a sequel to dog with a vlog, but he's fucking streaming? That's what I'm talking about. Okay, good. I figured it out. I, I figured out where I was going with that. Is I was I was going with when are they gonna make a dog with a vlog sequel, and and it's a dog with a Twitch stream. The the hot button episode where the dog with a stream gets banned off Twitch for saying the N word live on stream and then is back a week later. No problem. Dog with a stream. Dog with a Twitch channel. Be you ever see those like all right? Anybody else ever see those really buff dogs and you just wonder what the fuck they're being fed? Right? Like, you see a video or picture of a really buff dog, and you, I like, the first thing that I ask myself is, what the fuck were they feeding that thing? What are they feeding that dog? What is he, what, 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 what it, 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 like, does he have, like, the rope, you know, like, the rope fun? Okay, this is gonna be, this is gonna be hard. Do you know, like, the rope fun exercise with the ropes where you whip the ropes with two hands and then you whip the ropes? Okay, let me, let me, let me, let me make sure... I got this right. You know the exercise thing where it's got the ropes and you like whip the ropes real hard? Do you think like they have that but for dogs and that's how the dogs are so strong? I'm gonna wake up one day and there's gonna be like a Brendanpedia set up and it's just gonna have a bunch of like fucked up things that I never did. Brendan once kicked a kid in the face for saying that Fortnite was stupid. Brendan then proceeded to pummel on the child for 15 minutes, leaving him black bloody and bruised. Like the, the, the Fortnite, the Fortnite beating incident the fortnite murder incident there's gonna be i'm gonna like check the brendan wikipedia and it's like the white phosphorus club like what i am the miasma of failure that permeates the world sphere i am the miasma of failure that permeates the world ruining everyone brendan once robbed a gas station and didn't take any money he said the pain and fear on the clerk's face was worth it right quick i gotta go a blinken gun Abe Lincoln. remember when Abe blinken famously said i'll never tell a lie i gotta go find lincoln's repeater I need that gun. Very important to my current build. The meta requires me to get Lincoln's repeater. And you know me, I'm all about the meta. Me, when I log into the metaverse and I see that somebody put a big fucking poop emoji right in my meta square in my meta home. So fucking angry about it. I'm gonna go online outside of the metaverse and the regular verse and fucking piss and moan. If the metaverse ever exists, I hope it has sprays. Like, if it ever exists properly, I hope, I hope it has sprays like, um... Like TF2 or CSGO. That way I can make like Goatsy spray and just put it in people's homes. I want Metaverse to be like Second Life, but worse. Like really, like fully honestly, I want it to be like, uh, like Second Life, but worse. I'm going to go into somebody's Meta Mansion and just spray paint Goatsy. Then I'm going to have the Meta Police called on me. Imagine a future where people don't get hired as police officers, but they get hired as police officers for Meta. I am, in fact, a country boy. I do make do. Do you have horses in Iowa? Yeah, but I don't have a horse. What do you think? I just have, a, like, a like a stud farm? Like, what do you... I, like, oh, uh, Brendan, you're in Iowa. Just borrow somebody's steed from your local stud farm. That horse is too busy having sex. That's your that's your vehicle. That's your mode of transport, Brendan. We got horses here, but, like, I'm not going to go and, like, ask somebody if I can use their horse. Horses are expensive, and also, they'd say no. Why don't you drive? I have a fear of it. I have a, I have a, I have a really, I have really bad driving anxiety, so I do not drive. Like, crippling driving anxiety. I do not get behind the wheel of a car unless I absolutely positively have to, and I mean like emergency. Crippling fear of being behind the wheel. It, uh, it sucks. Maybe if you weren't a wussy baby, you'd get behind the wheel of a car, right? And vroom, 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 vroom. Uh oh you're right. I'm in Ohio and dated this dude who lived in the, a tiny village and people rode their horses to like McDonald's and shit. Yeah, I've seen 
I, I've lived in smaller towns where people have used horse as a mode of transport. I don't know, I guess carrots are cheaper than gas. Bazinga. Imagine carrying a bunch of severed super mutant heads like uh, on like a string so you can set them down and play their head like bongo. Rivet City is always my- I always love the, the Fallout 3 like... It's 200 years later and ain't nobody rebuilt like a normal looking town. Everything dirty as hell. Ain't nobody a clean freak. In Fallout 3. I love that Fallout 3, it, like, canonically takes place 200 years after the bombs fell, but it feels like it took place, I don't know, like, like 50 years after the bombs fell. Replace the- uh, we should- we should take the Scooby-Doo Ghoul School and, like, remake it, but with Fallout Ghouls. What if you had a- what if you added a mod to Fallout, haha, that let you, like, haha, what if your feet got really rough from walking around all the time, haha? So, like, what if you, haha, what if you, what if you, what if, what if you, haha, like, what if you, what if you had a mod, haha, that, like, let you, let you, um, that you let that that like you you when your feet got really rough and gross you had like a like a like a, like you got a what if you got a corn on your feet haha <laughs> in in Fallout and like haha <laughs> what if you had to like shave it off with like a file haha <laughs> what if they had full cuticle management in Fallout haha <laughs> wouldn't that be fun haha <laughs> just asking haha <laughs> for a friend beta testing oh man chat look I found your house chat I found your house. Now where's Chad testing? Where's Alpha testing? I'm on that beta grind set. I am playing Mario Kart in the N64. I am playing Mario Kart and drinking my soup out of a can. Yummy. They test beta males in here. Where's the, where's the, I gotta find like a, I gotta find like a fucking weak beta male and bully him. Be out here. This is just like my online experience. I'm gonna go into this beta hole and bully people online. Change a- make a radically, dynamically awful experience for them. Brendan is Omega testing full of milking machines? What? Oh, you, shut the fuck up. I don't want to talk about- please don't bring up werewolf- I don't want to talk about werewolf like, dynam- please. I don't want to think or talk about like werewolf omegas. Please stop. Don't bring up werewolf- don't bring up- hmm. Okay, I'm gonna have to talk about this. Give me a second. Let me educate you. I found it. It's the Omegaverse. Okay. So there's alphas, betas, and omegas. And alphas impregnate omegas. Betas are subordinate to alphas. Omegas can get pregnant and go into heat. Alpha and omega lovers may form pair bonds. This is the this is the Omegaverse. Uh omegas can be male or female, but still get pregnant. Usually they are male, and it's just mpreg stuff. So omegas also release pheromones that get alphas uh, more attracted to them to, to keep them safe. But essentially, in werewolf porn, if you ever see like a smut book and it says omega on it and it's about werewolves, uh, it's, it's a male pregnancy smut book, more than likely. More often than not. More often than, uh, not! <laughs> you get it, you understand, you hate me for it. Listen, a while back, when I was reading fanfiction videos, I had to, I did a bunch of, like, research to learn all these terms, and so I just have this knowledge now so I can throw it at people. Brennan, that was not very funny. It was funny to me, and that's all that matters. I don't give a shit if you laugh. You think if, uh, do you think I give a shit if you laugh? I don't fucking care. Your suffering is funny to me. My suffering is funny to you. This is me paying it back, paying it forward. I will be viewer violent. I will be like, uh, uh, like uh, 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 toxic towards my audience. I'm the, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the locker. Here's a digital, I'm the, I'm the bully. Here's a digital locker. You're getting pushed into it and you're gonna get told about werewolf porn. The Roach King. Die. Whoa. I love the dramatic leg shot. We keeps going. Okay. I've lost karma. What, for stealing from the Roach King? Really? Come on. You can have it all. My empire of dirt. I will let you fall. I will find a way. <laughs> what have I become? It's a plastic throne, Brendan. Shut up. You're a, you're a plastic king. Oh my- Oh, it's a plastic throne! Oh! 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 I just re- Oh my god, I just realized. Oh my god, I know, I realized what you meant by that. I thought you- I thought you were- I thought you were throwing it at me. I thought you were fucking, uh, like, trying to start shit. I thought you were trying to start shit. Get hit. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Brent Daniel's Plastic Chair Review! 
Welcome to the Roach King's chair, the Roach King's throne. This is a certified plastic chair. This is where you want to sit if you're on top of the world. King of the scrapyard. Big boy in the goddamn concrete jungle. This chair is one, aesthetically pleasing. Two, this is a certified, ring that bell, ring that bell. Ding, 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 ding. This is a poop chair. We're gonna give this one a 10 out of 10. Oh, sweet. It's a diner. Oh, boy, oh boy, I am mighty hungry. Better stop in at Dot's Diner for a big fat meal. Hope there's no mines around here. Oh no, mines. Imagine like it being in war and then somebody actually decapitates somebody else with a bullet. What a horrible fucking fate. What a scary fucking thought. Ooh, that's good. I want that, yum yum. I gotta stop saying yummy when I find something I like. Like, oh, so yummy. It's gonna be a uh, like a legitimate problem. Oh, that gun looks so yummy. Oh, what a yummy gun. Oh, I love play, oh, I love, I love, oh. I love playing Borderlands. I just got the yummiest gun. Oh my golly gosh goodness. It's such a yummy gun. I am Dave. <laughs> did you see did the one? Did that person trip? I <laughs> You are. <laughs> I like zoomed in on the dialogue and it looks like the person to the left fucking tripped. I <laughs> oh my god, I forgot how goofy Myrlurks looked. Oh my god, I forgot they just looked like guys in suits. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get you. Yeah, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> We're fine. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. I'm 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 gonna be fine. Maybe death claws aren't as scary in Fallout 3 as they are in Fallout New Vegas, but I was terrified. There's something primal about that fear when you see a death claw and you're just like, no, 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 no. I never should have come here. I need to leave. 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 I never should have come here. I need to leave. Why are there so many ants in Fallout 3? I don't remember this many ants in Fallout 3. Then again, like going into New Vegas, I forget how many fucking geckos they are. Also, I forgot that gas stations in Fallout 3 just looked like this. Right? Well, you remember the red rocket in Fallout 4? Like you get right to it and it's so different. This was Fallout 3's gas station. Couldn't even buy snacks or anything here. Just... Yeah, I don't know, park your fucking car and charge it up. This is, this is, see, this is the, the, you know how you like to go to the gas station and get a big, warm gas station cinnamon roll, right? But, like, this is what Elon Musk wants. Elon Musk wants to take away your big gas station cinnamon roll. Fuck that guy. That guy wants to take away everybody's big gas station cinnamon roll experience, and I won't have it. I won't sit here for it. I won't stand for it. Yeah, the Red Rocket and Fallout 4 like a desk and like magazines, and like big gas station cinnamon rolls. Fallout 3, they'd just be like, yeah, it's like a Tesla charging station. This man has been suffering for 200 years locked away in this robot shell. I've saved him from a life of pain. Listen, I do not want to go in a robot shell. Some fucking meth head is gonna find me, right? And like use my brain to boil drugs. I don't need that. I don't, I don't want to be a robot in a shell. And when I die, put me in a tube. You know what, when I die, just fuck it, skip it all, put my brain in a bong. You know how high you'd get off my supply? Put my fucking brain and spinal fluid in a bong, alright? I'll just say it, put me in a bong! Just do it! You afraid? You scared? Huh? You too scared to put me in a bong? Huh? No, yeah, If I, when I die, put me in a bong. When I die, put my brain in a big bong. I want people to boof on me. I want people to boof with me. I want people to boof with me. Utilize me as a boofing tool. Boof with me. Make me a bong. I want to be, I want to be, I want my brain to be fucking boiled in the bong. Listen, I can handle it. I got a fucking good brain. It's, it's, it's very pliable. Very smooth and soft. Good as a bong additive. Use my brain as your yummy bong additive. Think about it. Careful, Brendan. Boof has multiple impl implications. What other implications does it have? Boof me. Boof me right now. What other, what, what else does it mean? I'll look it up. No, I'll look it up right now. I'll look it up. What does boof mean? Uh -huh. Um, urban dictionary. Boof. To abuse any illicit or illicit substance via insertion in one's rectum. 
Huh. Boof me! Boof me right now! I <laughs> think this is gonna stop me? Put the brain bong in your ass! Boof me! You think I care? Careful, Brennan. That means putting something in your ass. Well, take the brain bong. Put the brain bong in your ass. Boof me. I'm just boof me. I'm just saying. Remember, Fallout New Vegas has Felicia Day in it. Every, every, every nerd's crush. The one thing I remember about Felicia Day, right, that's gonna stick with me forever for the rest of my life, right, is, and I don't know why I watched it, but the full presentation for Facebook's app on Xbox 360, and Felicia Day was the presenter for some reason. And I just completely like, I just remember watching the whole presentation for like Facebook's app on Xbox 360. It was E3, it was like a minute long presentation where Felicia Day came out and like, one second, I'm gonna pull it up. Only I remember this, it's not Lost Media, it was at an E3. Nobody else remembers this, only I remember this for no reason whatsoever. This is gonna be garbage quality, by the way, I'm just warning you. The things that I like most are right up front and they're really easy to find. So let's start with where I always start on my Facebook page. Xbox had so little in 2009 that they were just like, Here's Felicia Day. Please talk about Facebook. I just, I don't know. It's not like super awkward or anything. It's like, it's like normal-ish. It's like normal, like kind of awkward presentation at E3. But like, I just, Hello. I just like, I just remember that for no reason. For almost no reason, I remember that presentation. My great grandma used to have a bowl of fucking ribbon candy, like just a hard, the hard shit. That's how you know, that's how you know that old person is cool when they got the fucking big hard bowl of like 10 year old ribbon candy that nobody's eaten. That's the real shit. I just tell old people that I remember Calvin Coolidge and they can't stop slobbering. Dude, when an old person, when they find out that I remember President James Buchanan, they go, yo, me too, and then they collapse into dust because that was their final horcrux is remembering James Buchanan's presidency, just like Harry Potter. <laughs> Man, I don't know what I'm going to do during a Sniper Elite stream. I look at those games in my Steam library sometimes and I'm like, should I play these on stream? What am I going to say? Like, what am I going to say if I stream Sniper Elite video games? What am I going to say? Like, I'm going to hit that guy in the nuts. Watch this. <laughs> All right, watch this, chat. I'm gonna hit that guy in the nuts. <laughs> All right, next up. What am I gonna do, chat? I'm gonna shoot that guy in the nuts. <laughs> oh, you got water in this fridge? Yo, I love fridge water. Actually, the ghoul kid in Fallout 4 makes no sense because I would a child survive in a refrigerator for years on end? Actually, a child in a refrigerator would not survive even if they were a ghoul because they would still need basic nutrition to survive. Thinking about the, the ghoul kid in Fallout 4. Actually. Yo, Daniel. No, that's not even a Yoda voice. That, huh, actually, a ghoul child would not survive inside a refrigerator. Instead, he would simply die of dehydration. Huh. Why don't I get broth with all my I dinner, Shelby? I just put like four different things in her dinner. I don't Lunch. Shelby, be what does it. why don't I get broth with all my meals, is what I'm asking. Want broth? No. I was kidding. It was a joke. I was joking. I'll give you broth. I was joking. I Don't give me broth. I don't want it. I mean, I do want it when, like, soup's on. But, like, his soup's not on. It's not like you say your famous catchphrase, soup's on! And you mean, like, soup's on. Soup may or may not be on, but it's not every day that we're having soup. So even if you say soup's on, it doesn't mean that soup is on. It just means that soup could maybe possibly be on. What I'm saying is when you say soup's on, there's a 20 to 30% chance that soup is actually on and not some other kind of food stuff. When you say like soup's on, you might mean soup. You might mean pasta, chicken, hamburger, um, or you might mean soup. No, I don't want soup. Mm, I don't want soup anymore. I, want soup. I wanted soup, but then I said soup's on and I realized I don't want soup. Yeah, but now I want soup. I, was, I want the turkey burger. You made me want soup. No, but what if the soup was on? But chicken and rice soup? But what if the, I know if the soup was on. I want and soup. So, Shelby, I want soups on, but I don't want soup on, you know? I want soup on. Shelby, I want soups on, but I don't want soups on, I you know? I want soups on. Shelby, I know you want soups on, but I don't want soups on. I just want soups on. You get it? I want soup. I want soups on, but you want soups on. But now I want soup. Soups on, but I don't want like soups on. 
No! Cornbread! I, oh, no, I just hate that I hijinxed myself into soup. Like, soup's fine, I guess. Super it's fine. I will eat soup. I'm not going to be, like, soup happy about it. Me, when I fight with my wife, me, I'm going to go to a local retail store and I'm going to, like, fucking buy something, Shelby. And then they're going to ask me, hey, do you want a bag for this? And, uh, you know what I'm going to say? You know what I'm going to say, right? What? I'm going to say, because of all this bullshit you're pulling, I'm going to say, sorry, got one at home. What that part me do? I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to sell your bones. <laughs> I'm going to, like... Make sure we don't die together at the exact same time and then sell your bones to science. That's rude. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to be like, oh, better get back to the old ball and chain. Next time I'm at a retail store, that's what I'm going to do. You're going to turn to full on. Boomer. I'm going to go, I'm going to go full boomer with every clerk. I'm going to walk up to a retail clerk and be like, I ever tell you about him. Uh, one time I got this abscess in my armpit. It was uh, pretty gross, and uh, you know the old ball and chain had to remove uh, all the gauze and replace the wound paper. I'm gonna tell you all of them you about. You don't need to tell. Re no, you don't need to tell. No, I'm gonna be like a weird old I guy who like walks into like... retail stores and tells them about their like his medical problems he's had. No, don't be that person. I'm gonna be either. that guy who like walks into like. Some, like good yeah. too, so. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. When I was a kid, I hot glued yeah. magnets to my head oh, and my hands. Just fell out. Oh, you know, one night I was playing Halo with the guys and my tooth just fell out. Had to go to the dentist the next morning and guess what? Woke up and I plum just drank hydrogen peroxide mouthwash. Oopie. I had to make myself throw up because of that because I was so tired. I, I didn't register that I was putting mouthwash in my mouth. So I drank hydrogen peroxide mouthwash. I did. I poisoned myself. I'm fine. I'm normal after that. I lived. I lived, bitch. I oh, yeah. I only found out. Yeah, I only found out I had a deviated septum when they swabbed me for COVID. I didn't know for my whole life until I got COVID tested. And they literally couldn't spit out the stomach. Yep. And they were like, hon, you have a deviated septum. I was like, what? I want saving Private Ryan's world in Kingdom Hearts. I want Alien. Imagine. Avi position. Goofy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't apologize enough. This time I'm legitimately sorry. I apologize for saying Avi position. Goofy. I will never say it again. I will never say it again. It will never come up in common parlance ever again. I'm sorry for saying Avi Positor Goofy. I won't do it again. I'm sorry, what? Goofy, but what if he laid eggs? Or was full of eggs, like the alien? I'm Avi Positive. I will never say such things about Goofy ever again. <laughs> I was legally required. Started eggs. Explain what those are. <laughs> eggs are nice and round. They're really cool. They're these round things. They're like a shape. Um, birds, you know what a bird is, right? Like just to start baseline, do we know what a bird is? Should we start it? Like, here's the thing. I don't know if I should start at the chicken or the egg. Like, do I start at the chicken or do I start at the egg? Okay, a bird is a creature with wings that flies. Wait, do you know what a creature is? Let me start, let me start even further. Do you know what a creature is? Okay, a creature is made of many cells. It's a, it's a, it's a beast made of many small parts it's a it's a living uh, uh, amalgamation of tiny thing right called cells do you know what a cell is okay so a cell is a basic building block of life um the cell has this thing called mitochondria um do any of you know what mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell <laughs> I set that up so everybody in chat could just start screaming that. I <laughs> and now you know. What's your opinion on chocolate animal crackers? I like the plain ones. I just like plain animal crackers. I mean, if they're animal crackers regardless, what I'm saying the forbidden word on Twitch. Oh no, oh, I'm saying cracker in reference to food. Um, who gives a shit? Um, uh, animal crackers, I really I like the I like the normal the normal flavored ones, but any animal crackers are great because you can sit there you can bite the head off the animals and go, "Ha! I've committed. I'm, 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 I'm murdering these poor innocent souls." You're gonna be like a psychopath. You eat the head. And you go. <coughs> what if you bit the head off a human instead? Not so funny now, is it? Well, if it was a hu like a human, like a human, like a like a like a gingerbread man. Still funny. There should be a circus ringmaster cracker. There was. His name was P. T. Barnum. Thank you for every. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. One second. Let me just. Uh, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Ooh, taxes, Brandon. Ooh, your tax write-off won't come in time. Ooh, I pay my taxes. I have an accountant. I bring the paper to my accountant. 
I pay him $150 and he sends them to the government. I don't like what? I don't know what this means. I, I explain this. What are you implying? Explain this to me. Brandon, that's your drug dealer. No, my accountant's the mayor. Explain this to me. Sometimes there's a chat member where I'm just like, are you okay? Do you need, do you need like a warm towel? Do you need like a warm towel over your head? Do you need like a hot water bottle? Type of motherfucker to need a hot water bottle compress under their body to keep themselves nice and toasty. What do you get from your drug dealer, Brendan? I don't do any drugs. Imagine trying to defend your viewership of me to somebody. You basically have to. You have to like, if you watch me, I bet you have had to defend watching me to your friends. You better be like, no, 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 he like, like, I swear he's funny. Like, I swear. He jingles keys for the chat sometimes. Let me do that right now, actually. Let me get the keys out, get some goodwill back. <laughs> All right. Keys off. No more Ungus Bungus. You know, if we told people we watched the stream for this, they'd think we were extremely mentally handicapped. <laughs> I have to explain that bit. I have to, I still have to explain that bit. Like... I was, I was like, I was, I was, somebody asked me about like stream bits, like on stream. And I said, stream bits are easy. You could literally jingle keys and people would be excited about it. I was like, watch this. And then I just started jingling keys. And now it's just a staple bit. I was like, Brendan, how do you come up with like stream bits and like jokes? I'm like, I just say shit. It's easy. You just gotta like, it's like jingling keys. It's a very defensible bit. The keys are shiny. We love the keys. It's that simple. The keys are shiny. We love the keys. I want to like, I want to like find like a 1950s cookbook, like open it up to the middle and just see if they have a, 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 a like, I, I, I just want to see 1950s cookbook with like a recipe for cigarette pie. Just, I'm thinking about it. What does it mean? Why did my head, like my, why did my brain process this? I just thought immediately cigarette pie, huh? Cigarette casserole. You should eat cigarettes on stream. I'm not going to eat cigarettes on stream. <laughs> I think I'd get banned. I think I'd get in trouble, wouldn't I? I'm not legitimately- no, I'm not gonna legitimately consider eating cigarettes on stream. No, Brendan. Brendan, no. Brendan, make cigarette casserole live on stream and eat it. Yum. I'd get in trouble for that, right? Wouldn't I get in trouble for trying to make d yummy cigarette casserole live on stream? Oh no, because like throwing up- throwing up is like banned on Twitch, isn't it? Like you can't like throw up on Twitch. I was like, no, this website is not for jackass movie. Also, like, I also don't want to eat a bunch of cigarettes. Like, I, mm, like you know what? Nah, I'd, ra I'd rather not, actually. I just don't want to. Why are you playing this? Oh. Uh, the cuss? Did he die? Oh. Weak. Your flesh is weak. My flesh is strong. You are small. I am large. I want to go to the Forsaken Dunwich Ruins. Man, I have a big bowl of cigarette stew in the morning. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Oh, fair, fair, delicious. Oh, based. Oh, based alert. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, based alert. Ding, 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 ding. Please say, rattle me bones in a skeleton voice. I don't even know what a skeleton voice would sound like if I was going to say, rattle me bones. Like, I don't even know what, what you would get out of that. Like, if I said, rattle me bones. And like a skeleton voice, I don't know. Please say rattle me bones. S -s rattle me bones? Rattle me bones! In a skeleton voice again? I'm, I'm not saying it in a skeleton voice, so I don't know what you're talking about. Skeletons don't have voices because they have no voice box or vocal cords. You're right. Shit, you're right. So if a skeleton said rattle me bones, it'd sound like... I don't want to clack my teeth together, that would hurt. I tried to like be like, oh, what if I clack my teeth together real hard and then I had to remember, oh yeah, that hurts. Wait, 100 small guns? Yeah, in my body. Look, like the bombs fell, so they like stopped excavating. Shit would have been way worse. Uh, you know, like people should be glad the bombs fell. If you go to Dunwich and look at this shit, if they had continued excavating this shit, they would have un unleashed an ancient god in full. That's way worse than like some nukes falling. Everybody would be dead. Not just some people, all the people. Oh, oh no! Uh, uh, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off! Stay away, stay away, stay away, stay away, stay away. Get him, dog meat, get him! Stay away, stay away, stay away. Mod that makes it so that when a fucking death claw appears, it starts playing the Big Chungus song. Thank you, good night. Oh, you got the Nuka Cola juggernaut fridge! <laughs> I'd like to do a horizontal bop with her, you know. Plow her bean field. Come on. <laughs> nope, still don't get it. Well, I want to plow her bean field. That's what I'm going to say next time, Shelby and I. <laughs> <laughs> 
look at my wife, lovingly gaze in her eyes. Ma'am, I cannot wait to plow your bean field. <laughs> okay, coward. Whatever, coward. Whatever, coward. Whatever, coward. Whatever, coward. I'd really like to plow her bean field, you know? I really wanna- I really wanna- I really wanna shuck her corn, if you know what I'm talking about. No, I don't. Explain. Quick, say something hot like, Mads Mikkelsen replaces Johnny Depp in Secrets of Dumbledore, Crimes of Grindelwald, Fantastic Beast movie. Quick, say something hot like, Mads Mikkelsen, puppet sex. Oh! 